Hi friends, Chris here. Today I'm going to talk to you about some uh, journaling. Journaling does not have to be a dear diary. It doesn't have to be something done every single day. One thing that I like to do with journaling is really just separate the good things about the day and the bad things for the day. Journaling helps me kind of express my feelings. I'm a type of person that likes to internalize things, um, let it bounce around my head a few times um, before it hits my heart. But the problem is I don't find a way to share those feelings. So then they stay bottled up inside me and that's not healthy for anybody. Um, so journaling really helps me get those feelings out. Um, and it's a nice way. I don't want to bother people with like my thoughts or feelings. So it helps me in a way of not feeling like I'm someone else's problem and that they're forced to listen to my problems. And I'm going to share my journal love today. Um, what I really like to do is break my journals up. Oh, that's a real close up. Sorry. Uh, break my journals up into, I can't flip it, into what's been a good and the bads of the day. Um, so something that I know is I am a terrible artist, but for me, my journaling, I just like to break it up as the good days, the smiley faces, the bad days are there with the frown and the stormy clouds. Thankfully, maybe something I can capitalize as a good day is I have time right now to work on my drawing. Um, but you know, to go through again, uh, positives for me, I got to talk to my nephew, Javi, today. Uh, we FaceTimed. We talked about the sounds a cow, a horse, and a sheep make. Um, I do need to say that he's two years old. Um, I probably should have started with that. I had a great homemade lunch today with apples, cottage cheese, some mac and cheese. Usually on a day like today, I would have gone out and had more processed food. So I've been able to eat a little bit cleaner um, since this whole process came down uh, last week. I was able to go out on a walk today. I drank more water during this uh, restriction of travel than I have in a long, long time. Um, something else I'm excited about tonight is I'm starting a new book. Um, it's all about small victories out here. And when you go back, you can rewind, you can see like my bad things of the day. If we weren't under, under these restrictions, I'd be playing in my four-on-four -four volleyball league with my friends. That kind of hurts. I haven't seen them or those friends I haven't been able to talk to in a, quite a while. So that really kind of, kind of bums me out, but we'll get through it. I have that, you know, it's been a cloudy day, which is just another thing I'm gonna to add to this negative that that fly just flew around me and interrupted this video. I had a trip planned this weekend to go to Cincinnati. Unfortunately, that with the travel restrictions, that's canceled. But when I look at my bads, it's things that are out of my control. So I'm going through my journal. I get to see, you know, what's been good, what's been bad. And if my bads are full of things that are out of my control, and as we can kind of look again, I have eight, eight positives right now and four negatives. Although I feel like it's been a ho-hum day, it's been a really great day. And luckily journaling helps me see that. So hopefully right now I'm going to call my friend Matthew. It's my last thing on the list. Um, I'm hoping that he picks up. I'm gonna to talk to him about how his wife Molly and his boys Luke and Ellie are doing. Hope you guys have a great day.